Folks, we've been making a lot of progress on this uh, brush cleanup project, this old river channel. And yeah, this was the area here that we were using the tree saw on those big tall limbs in the, the first episode, big tall trees, 50, 45, 50 foot trees in here. We've got a special treat for you today. The logger is here and this is the coolest uh, machine ever. We're gonna show you that in a few minutes. But I just kind of wanted you to see this this first horseshoe shaped area here. It's too windy for me to get the drone in the air here, but I wanted you to see that, that we've got all the trees down here. We do have some stumps to deal with. We'll have to deal with that a little later. Yeah, let's get started. So we've got Clint in the Mini X with the work brow grapple attached. Clint, how you doing today? Doing good. And we got Tom and Johnny Five over here. Hello, hello, hello. Have you broke anything today? I tried. Yeah, we're a half a day into this and I haven't broken anything yet. Can you believe it? The day's not over yet. <laughs> That's right, the day is not over. Randall's coming around from behind the brush pile up there in the 3320. And the star of the show, well, we'll show you that in a minute. Keep you in a little suspense, right? This is uh, that old river channel right here, probably one of the driest areas of it. And if you look close, you can see water in it now. We cannot cross it now. Um, we, well, we can't cross it just any place. There are certain places we can get across. And so that's what we're doing here. We're trying to get uh, all these trees piled on the other side. It's taken us a little longer because we didn't want to have so many brush piles to have to burn. Clint, it looks like you're on cleanup duty. That's that's what it looks like. Just you're sweeping up. Yeah, don't tell my wife I can run a broom. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will see it. Right, right. <laughs> I whip that down again. We need the rope. Okay, we're on our way. It's over on the truck. Should have left it on the tractor. Yeah, I thought you'd leave it hooked up to the tractor. Well, it was handier to get it quick, but we'll go. I'll go get the truck, Dad. You can head over to him. Okay, will do. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Keep pulling. <laughs> I just don't want to turn him over. Further south. Okay. So this is the star of the show, but I tell you what, we're not introducing it in a very uh, good, well, you glamorous... Could, you you can get these clips out of order. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's just about tight. Okay, we're about ready to do our thing. Yankum.com. Boy, it yanked it too, didn't it? To slicker and grease. Well, it's smooth, isn't it? I mean, it's, it is. That's better than a chain. You're good, uh, Tony. It doesn't jerk like a chain. What is that to come back in some of them when it gets drier? Yeah. I'm just going to get some of these right on the edge and not try to get like where them willows were. Yeah. I started running that for where them willows were, and then I go over here just a little bit, and it just, well, went straight down because I'd been in there twice or three times already. Thanks for the tug. Yeah, you ain't <laughs> I do like that strap, though. Yeah. Sure beat the back around the chain. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Okay, folks, you've not seen anything. You haven't seen this one. A lot of corn stalks in there, too. It seems like it's holding that moisture in. See if he can reach in and get this one bigger one. I'd hate to drop something on the cameraman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a... Uh... That, that'd be bad, that'd be bad advertisement there, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be a million <laughs> views. <laughs> yeah. Tony, tell me a little bit about that thing. Well, it's got a uh, four-cylinder coming engine in it. Okay. It's uh, a little hydrostat. The uh, bell is made in South Africa, and uh, anyway, they had 
several different ones. The older ones had just like a two-speed transmission, non-turbo engine. Yeah, you know, didn't have as much power as this one. But, uh, but he did have different gears. He had a working, working gear on there. But this gear has got down enough hydrostat that there's only one gear. So how many horsepower does this one have? Uh, 116. Oh. The head takes like a 40 gallon a minute pump. Okay. But uh, this one here, like I said, my old one had like seven levers like the old Backles had and a non-cushion ride seat. No cushion at all? No cushion at all, yeah. Oh my goodness. Because quite frankly, that one doesn't look real comfortable. No, uh, it's, it's got a little bit of cushion, though. Now, how old is it? This would be, what, 42 years old? Made in 82, you said? Yeah. Now, did you pinch there? I saw a... No, uh, the chain got out of groove, and I think it's done it again. Something's going on here. So I probably don't look when I stuck it down in that mud while I go trying to get my. Hey, I see out. sparks right now. Yeah. I'm sure that one fall down on my bike now. That's what it's doing. There, you can get me see me tighten the chain. Yeah, it's just got too loose, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, I had to stick it down in that mud while go when I got stuck. Yeah, I really can't believe we're out here in March. The chain cuts a three-quarter inch gap. You can can be equipped with a 404 regular chain. They, yeah, they use that quad saw. That quad saw cuts two inch gap. But they can't go all the way through it. I cut 22 inches straight through. Of course, it didn't on that one. Go get a different chain. Now, for those of you who may have missed the earlier episodes on this project, if, if you have, they were back in January. You can go check them out. And at that time, we hoped to have the, the logger in then, but he had a situation where he couldn't join us. And anyway, what I want to explain now to, to those of you who missed it is that this is a wetland. This is not how we would typically um, clean something out like this. We would typically come in with a track hoe and just dig all these out. But since it's a federal wetland, we are not allowed to dig anything below the surface. So that's, we are allowed to cut everything off at surface level. So we could actually cut a little shorter even than this, right? We can go all the way to the surface. That's what we're going to do. And the reason we're doing that is to make the farmland that's right up by here more productive, okay? It's, uh, it gets shaded really bad, groundhogs and stuff come out here. Um, so, and the trees themselves suck up some of the moisture in the summer, which we need for the crops. And it is too bad that we weren't able to get the logger in here in January. We, could, we were able to drive all the way across this, but now it is wet again. And it's actually remarkably dry for March, but it's still wet in this uh, old river channel here. So we're gonna have to just get what we can get and the rest of it, well, we'll put off to a later episode. And yes, I do have a secret weapon coming, and I don't know for sure if I can uh, get all of these. Some of these are probably pretty big for that particular secret weapon, but Christy's not here today, so, and I miss her because I don't get to do as much tractor work. I'm behind the camera. Don't tell Christy, but I actually enjoy the tractor work more than the camera work. She'll never see this, uh, well, until she edits it. Now this is my favorite part of watching this rig when he gets a hold of a decent sized tree and backs out going up a hill. That back wheel just comes off the ground. Sometimes it's three or four feet off the ground. And by the way, that's the answer to one of your questions already. Why are the R2 tires on backwards? That's when he has the hard pull, right? Going backwards. I don't know. I don't know if I want to try to go out there any further. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I kind of want to Right. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, now we're talking, Tony. Yeah. This looks like trouble. That's actually seemed pretty solid than I thought it would be. It did go pretty solid, didn't it? Yeah. I think I'm gonna try to get that one right in front right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, it's, it's right solid out the in here. Lot solid up there, Pete. Another fifteen dollars there, guys. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Racking up the money now. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll leave that stack alone, I guess. I right, if he wants to, I'll just get out of the way here. No, I'm this. trying to help you. There's more time I was traveling, that'd be less time I'm cutting. Right. Yeah, you just get them where they're out of your way and we'll we'll get them from there. Let's get this old dead one here out of the way. Fall down on me. Dead ones make me nervous. Me too. He's protected though. I it doesn't hardly look like it even matter. I don't see how he sees out the glass or out the front. Doesn't it, it did fall all apart. Well. Yeah, I thought it fell apart. <laughs> Maybe we can get on swamp loggers now. There you go. <laughs> Language uh, isn't near foul enough to be on there. <laughs> and we're getting along too good. Yeah, not enough drama. We can see him. <laughs> if you see me turning one way, then the other way, it's usually I'm trying to look behind me. <laughs> oh, okay. You can't see behind you, so you have to swing to do so. Yeah. Okay. It looks to me like you'd get dizzy on that thing. Yeah. When I went on that cruise last, don't you afraid you're going to get seasick? I said, no, I don't think I'm going to get seasick. <laughs> learn any tips and tricks with that grapple clamp? Uh, about everything in here is really dead. Yeah. And using the thumb, it just breaks it up like toothpicks. You gotta okay. Be really, really gentle with the, with the dead stuff. Okay, so it's hard to keep from just mashing it. Well, that's a lot of this stuff that I'm dragging out now. It's easier just to rake it out instead of trying to grab it. Okay. Because it will just, it will just, uh, it just breaks it. It just. Uh, can't can, you can't tell how much pressure you're putting on stuff yeah and we can control the speed with uh, some settings there but I don't think we have any control over it's, it's not the, max the speed pressure. it's just uh, yeah I don't think we have any control over the max pressure you know anything that's alive I don't have a problem with it you know it uh, yeah. it's just the, the dead stuff is I bet you can push that big dead tree over that's what I was wondering I was wanting to I bet I can Tim, you're over there, aren't you? Yep. Good, I didn't turn over the camera, man. Uh-oh. Turn, turn around, see you is gone. I didn't know nothing. Yeah, you ran over me. <laughs> That's what I wondered. <laughs> Just that greasy spot there you saw. <laughs> well, I've been wanting to show you the inside of this Bell Ultra C tree contraption but uh, I didn't want to show it to you under these conditions um, major failure major failure in here um, all of this hydraulic pump hydraulic 
mechanism here, you can see it kind of angling downward. Well, the whole bell housing off of the engine has come loose. All the bolts are out of it. So we're out of commission. That's going to be that's going to be it. Okay, so I'm going to take you inside here and you can see the holes there where the bolts are missing. There's one bolt left right at the top. I can see daylight down through there. Now this is the some of this is the hydraulic mess from a couple of hoses we've blown. This is the cockpit here and all of those uh, steel protection pieces are angled just a little bit so that if you get off to the side you can't see hardly anything. The motor, hey Tim, the motor kind of sets at an angle just a little bit. Okay. That's, oh, okay, so the, the downward yeah, angle is not... You look at over here, I didn't know you were Okay. Over. The motor itself... Oh, the motor is a downward sets, angle, so yes. that's, that's probably not too unique on its own. And you said it's a Cummins... It's a 3.9. 3.9 yeah, Cummins. What's in the back of yeah, is it exactly what, what it, it is? What it sounds like? Yeah. What's in that? It what's is in that back of. Uh, you have to look over here. There's no bolts in the bell housing. Oh. Don't know if you can see the business end here or not. Chain was getting kind of loose. He had to stop several times, you know, to work on the chain. The chain is is clearly a, a high maintenance item, but that's not the issue here. He had a couple of hose failures, uh, and these hoses here, but he got those fixed. This is uh, the propulsion, the pedals there, is how he goes forward and back, one on each wheel. I don't know. I mean, okay, what's the worst is going to happen if I, if I do but get an inch longer bolt and and screw that in there? I mean, it, it's already a, it's a time bomb right now. <laughs> it, it's already screwed up. Screw them in there. You Sell it. Still film it. <laughs> uh, you'd have to catch me at a weak moment to want this. I'm enjoying watching it, but I'm not sure about buying it. Yeah, it's too big for me. Okay, so here's my damage of the day. The good news is these look to be easy to change. I can take that out and the bottom one out. It looks like one on each side, or at least one over there. And this piece of glass was $55. So we had to order it. It'll be here in a day or two, but it looks fairly easy to replace. Overall, as damages go, this is not too bad. I'm not too worried about that. I was pushing in one of the piles that was on fire. Now it was on fire in there. It wasn't on fire out here. But anyway, a stick bounced off that grapple, came through here, and before I know it, it wedged up through here, before I ever saw it. It popped the glass before I ever saw it. Ran right through there. Here's a relatively up-to-date aerial view of the progress we've made. All of the trees gone from the horseshoe area there, except for two really nice log trees, and you can see that there's been a lot of trimming on the whole area. We decided to start grinding these stumps in the horseshoe area. We think it would be really nice if we could drive across here while we're farming. Always before we've had to farm that little area inside the horseshoe as a separate field. It takes a lot of extra time to do a small area like that. This is the Bomalite 3P24. It's the biggest grinder that I have and it's really not big enough for the tractor that we've got it on. This tractor has at least 105 PTO horsepower, maybe more. Some of these stumps are willows. I think this one's probably a willow and others are dead ash. We look at all the stumps here and it just looks like an enormous stump grinding project. But like Boy, anything else, when you just right dive there. in and get started, well, maybe it won't be so bad. Randall's using the 1P24 on the 3320. This grinder works only on hydrostatic tractors because you have to be able to move forward very, very slowly. 
It works on subcompact tractors, but it works better on bigger and more powerful and heavier tractors. You can get it for a great price at shopgreendealer.com. You can use code TTWT for a 5% discount. That's the one you cut off with the tree saw. Yep. So these were your chunks left from it. Yep. Then I, I got a little more left. Huh? Oh, that's really all you ought to do. Okay. I wonder if you could do this one because it's the last one sticking out. I know it's huge. Well, I can't get high enough, I don't think. But I can try. My problem is my working back and forth, I get this deeper and deeper in the mud. Yep, and it's mud all the way around this one. This tractor's the family favorite. My dad bought it new in 1969. It's actually a 1967 model. Oliver 1950T. It has a 310 Waukesha engine. Quite a lot of controversy surrounding this engine among Oliver fans. It was rock solid in the 1750s and 55s, but in attempts to get higher horsepower out of it, it kind of pushed it beyond its limits. But from an operator standpoint, it's a wonderful engine. It has lots of power at low RPM, and it sounds fabulous, at least in our opinion. Well, we know the slip, cl slip clutch will work. Well, guys, it didn't end quite like we had hoped with that logger. Uh, Kind of, kind of failed on us, but uh, you know what? It's all right. You'll have all these ground by morning, right, Tom? More or less, though. More or less, yeah. We'll more. Check, or... We'll check the lights, make sure they work. It's all tonight. done but finishing. <laughs> all done but finishing. I like that. We'll see if Randall gets in here in time. <laughs> well, the logger quit on us. I don't think it was the logger man. <laughs> it wasn't really by choice. I don't think. It wasn't think. by choice. We need a name for that thing. He's probably got one or two. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a machine. That's Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen anything like that. I, I'm not kidding you. That thing would flat chew up and spit it out now. Yeah, it was amazing, and he ran on two wheels most of the time. <laughs> Might have got stuck a few times. Yeah, we got stuck uh, two or three he times. Get him out of there. We have, it didn't take it a long to get him out. wasn't hard to pull. wasn't uh -huh. hard to pull. I don't know. I don't know if I could ride that thing. <laughs> I don't think I could either. I don't <laughs> think. It takes some effort to get in and out of it. I watched him crawl out of it there. Yeah, I was surprised he arrived the second day without being all bruised up. <laughs> but we've had a good time anyway, and we got two of the brush piles burned, and uh, Randall and Tom and Clint are gonna have all the stumps ground by first thing tomorrow morning. More or less. Depends on which, yeah. when tomorrow morning is. Okay, some tomorrow morning. Yeah, maybe like the next fall. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, we've had a good time, and not everything goes perfect every time, but you know what? We'll get her done someday. That's right. That's right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Put your outdoor work in order and get your fields ready. After that, build your house. Okay, what's the worst that's going to happen if I if I do but get an inch longer bolt and and screw that in there? I mean, it, it's already a, it's, it's, it's a time bomb right now. No, it, it's already <laughs> screwed up. I mean, it's it's already a time bomb. Screw them in there. Sell it. Still filming. Sell it, he says. <laughs>